I've been waiting to show you this. Uh, I've arrived uh, yesterday in uh, Seoul in South Korea and it's pretty crazy out here um, but hopefully there'll be uh, a World Cup being played around here somewhere. All right, I'm standing right here at the Seoul World Cup Stadium ready for my first group match. Now I wish I could say that I was dedicated enough to actually just fly all the way to, uh, to South Korea in order to play these games for you on Championship Manager. But the truth is, it was a, a plan, uh, a, a journey that we'll plan for uh, forever, actually. Just coincided with me uh, actually qualifying for this World Cup. So it was a small step out of our way to just uh, go here and uh, film the matches at the World Cup Stadium. All right, I'm uh, just about ready for uh, playing these matches and whether or not I'll include them in, I don't know. I don't know exactly how I'm going to put this together in, uh, in the editing room, but anyway, I'll be playing these matches today, probably all of them. Uh, and then I'll find out how I'll make it into uh, interesting videos for you guys that are not too long because, um, well, I brought my family all the way out here. And what you can hear right now is this, right? So uh, a nice fountain uh, with a small um, statue with the uh, the official mascot for the games and I actually just walked over here because I thought that would be a good spot for filming it but I'll find somewhere else and just uh, have a sit down right around here at this amazingly beautiful impressive stadium um, yeah in just a sec all right so I'm recording now I hope that you can see behind me the entrance to the World Cup Museum. I'm sitting right here at the actual stadium where at least some of the games uh, were played. And um, it feels like the right atmosphere for this first match and actually the most important match because it's the one where I'd be expected to get a result or, well, where I have the best chance of getting a result. I'll be playing IR. <laughs> IR, I mean Ireland. And, um, well, they've got a lot of cool players. I always liked signing Mark Kennedy um, in, when playing like in low leagues and uh, in Championship Manager 97-98. Um, and, uh, well, obviously they've got uh, Roy Keane, who is a very good player and they've got a decent goalkeeper as well. So it's not going to be easy. Luckily enough, they've got uh, several key players suspended. Jason McAteer, amongst others. Um, they lined up like this in the last match, but that was against, I think, Germany in a way, an away match. And normally I've seen them line up in a 4-4-2 and I'm expecting them to do that against me as well. So what I'm thinking is that I'll be going like this, trying out and attacking tactic um, and also trying Carl Davis from uh, the beginning of the match because well in order to achieve some form of success at this World Cup um, I think uh, at least this Davies brother will have to um, will have to play well oh by the way I want to show you that football as well that you can see in the background anyway I've got uh, the team ready. They look... No, I don't have them ready. I have to... Uh... I actually thought I'd lined everyone up just like I wanted them, but I have to make sure. So I've got Jeff Williams, who's very low. And I could go with Marola instead. Or Jenkins. Tough call. And then Hughes is suspended, so I'm obviously going with, well, Robert Page. Usually is uh, very good in Championship Manager. You can find him on, on lists of good players to, uh, to sign uh, in, well, 
also if you if you start in a, a low league club I could have chosen Kit Simons as well I don't know it's a tough call um, so Adrian Williams and Page and I don't have a lot of options in the attack so I'll go with Kit Simons and Marola I don't know the subs for me it sort of depends on who has the best determination but they have the same Steve Jenkins no sorry Gary Speed and I think Carl Robinson or this Rollins guy I think I'll go with Rollins I like him and John Oster so natural so just wanted to check out the last game where I played I think the same formation and Carl Davies didn't play all that well but I'm hoping for him to um, perform better this time the other option is to play Robbie Savage from the beginning and then have Oster either in the middle or move Giggs into the middle. So it's a tough call, it really is. Carl Davies is. I don't know. Robbie Savage isn't all that good anyway. This guy is. So anyway, I can't have Andy Davies. He's uh, injured. So I'll go with Robbie Savage as the attacking option here. And then I'll have to move um, gigs up in in the attack if something bad should happen. Hembridge can come on, and then I've got Marola, sort of a, a backup for both the the right back and also for for the central midfield. Gary Speed as the captain. Is that correct? I think so. And then Ryan Giggs with all the usual responsibilities. I think that looks pretty good. So it's a uh, direct style and we're going to do it like that. So here it goes. Um, well, if we should be lucky enough to win this match, then we will get first place in the group. So let's see what happens. Stand up for this. This is crazy. And I'm feeling all right. Okay, corner kick. I'm feeling really nervous about this because if I should go and lose this match, then we don't have much hope of um, achieving anything at all in this group. And I'm sure the Irish feel the same way. So so this is kind of an, a nervous match, or it would be in real life anyway. Sort of got the sun in my eye right here, but I'm, I can see the screen. Uh, yeah. Card for gigs for speed, yeah, probably. Yeah, you don't want so many of those cards, and they'll just end up getting suspended for other important matches at the World Cup, obviously. No, no. That, that seemed lucky. We really need John Hartson to, uh, to play his best at this World Cup because I've been loyal in selecting him all the way through. Uh, and I don't have that many options. 
at least when it comes to attackers or forwards who are also um, good in the air. I think that's important. Mm, right. So I don't think that looks too worrying. So uh, let's just play on. I didn't even look at the stats. Right. So uh, they seem to have the upper hand, but we've got the shots on target. So it's our attack that's not really performing. I don't know about Davies. Right. So I'm going to change something around at the 60th minute. If nothing happens, well, nothing is happening. So I'm going to do it now. Um, so I think Hartson, well, he's had a couple of chances on goal, so I'm getting Rob Savage on. Then I'll play Oster in the middle. No, I won't. I'll play him on the left and then Giggs in the middle just to make sure my best man is well, creating chances right behind the forward. And that's the first substitution of the World Cup for me. Oh, come on, man. Right, I'm having trouble. Oh! I was just gonna say I'm having trouble just standing still because this is really exciting actually. There you go, John Parson again, again, no, this is crazy, right, feeling a bit nervous, I have to walk around a little bit, yep, so, I'm gonna stand in front of this huge football, how's that for atmosphere, and then we're going to make some more substitutions in the 74th minute, we're not doing too bad here, Hartson with the first Welsh goal of the World Cup. Giggs with a yellow card. He's playing well. Uh, the assist came from Savage. Well, good that we brought him on then. Rollins. Uh, is pretty tired. Mm, I think the defense is doing well. I don't know about speed though. Um, he's a good player and he's also the captain. But I think if I just... If I get him out... I could get Pembridge on. Or Marola. I get Pembridge on instead of speed. And then I'll have Adrian Williams captain the lot. Probably. Who's oldest? Well, this guy. 27. Uh, 30, 38 caps. He has less influence, of course. I don't know. I'll, I'll choose Page or Coleman, obviously. I forgot about Coleman. I'll have Coleman be the captain. Pembridge on there just to avoid further cards for Gary Speed. Maybe this is too soon, I don't know. Let's try it. Hartson. Boom! There you fucking go. Right. So this is the first match in the World Cup for Wales. Oh no. Rory Della. Right. This is fucking insane. So. They'll want one more goal. So question is, maybe, well, should I play it more defensively just in the end? Giggs is um, our best player at the moment. Um, so that could be one way of going about this. I think Paige is doing very well with the tackles and stuff. Mm. So I could... Hembridge hasn't been playing well since he came on. 
So that's not too great. So what I could do is, well, just get gigs off and maybe use, well, someone as a, as a sweeper or as a, an extra defensive midfielder. I'm gonna have to look at their tactics. I totally forgot, but yeah, I was right. They're playing a, a 4-4-2. So, probably it would be best with Sweeper, Adrian Williams, Page, none of them are Sweepers, so that, that would be Coleman, right. So I'm, I'm going to do that, maybe it's not smartest move but he's got the yellow card I'll get Kit Simons on um, instead of him go down here and play it super defensively like oh that's wrong like this pretty sure that's how to use a sweeper and hopefully that'll work right so, last nine or ten minutes or whatever. Come on then. This just has to hold. Ninety minutes. And there we go. Right, that's the first match of the World Cup. Brought to you well, not live, but anyway, brought to you from um, the actual World Cup Stadium in Seoul, in South Korea. Got the match stats right here. Uh, the Irish fought bravely, but they just couldn't hit the target. So, yes, it was a good result, and that means that in Group F, we're right up there with Brazil for the moment. So that's the first match. That's a new record. Bowen getting back. Oh, speed suspended for one match. Uh, some vehicle making a lot of noise and I'm going to save this and quit for now. I'll be back uh, real soon. Bye.